Okay, on my remote control lawnmower, there's the remote, uh, the wheels. I'm trying to go from a 10 inch wheel to something bigger. You can see this wheel, it's kind of round and I have a, a very wet lawn. So I thought if I can go with a tire that's flatter and wider and maybe a larger diameter, that would be better. So I got this. Uh, this is a snow blower tire. It's a 13 inch diameter instead of 10. And it's a six inch rim instead of a four inch rim. Unfortunately, um, this is a four bolt and this just has a three quarter inch shaft all the way through. So what I did was I took the hub off the motor and transmission here and I just drilled holes straight through this rim. Uh, it is a tubeless tire, but the part where the air is and the part in the middle uh, do not connect to each other, fortunately. Um, I just basically laid this on here and tried to mark and then drill straight down and put some long 5 16 bolts in there. It looks pretty good. I mean, I'll still have to chop this off because that's sticking out ridiculously far. But let's see if we line this up now and put it on. Doing this one-handed. I mean, it fits perfectly on there, of course, because that's the original hub. And it, it looks nice. I mean, this, this is a wider, flatter, uh, it's brand new, you know, still has all the little rubber things on it. Should be plenty of traction on this thing. But now let's turn it on. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let's go faster. So this is where you can see there's a wobble to it. And of course that wobble means that really um, what it is is these holes and this tightness, they're not perfect. You know, this is not perfectly centered to that. So maybe what I can do is, see, there's two different sizes down the middle, but maybe I can 3D print a spacer that will just simply let me align these two, kind of like um, the tool you use when you uh, replace a clutch, something like that, just a, a thing that centers both parts. So maybe I could center both these parts with a 3D print, just something, I don't know, that tall or so inside there. Then they'll be concentric. Then I put the bolts through and tighten them down. Maybe I can get some spacers in here too. I'm not sure how important that would be. I guess that would keep me from over tightening. Um, and then I also got to get something in here to cut off this extra here. But that's it for now. Working on the uh, big wheel swap on my remote control lawnmower.